NASAMS, or Norwegian Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System, is a sophisticated defense system designed to protect against a variety of airborne threats. It has a short to medium range, but is able to connect to other systems like the US Army's Long Range Patriot to cover off potential attacks from all angles. Although NASAMS is credited to Norway in its name, it's actually a collaboration between Norway and the US that has yielded a powerful defense weapon. Over the years since its original version, it has seen significant upgrades to help deal with more complex threats. This has led to a popularity in the system that has seen many countries around the world add NASAMs to their arsenal. Let's take a closer look at the details on why this is the case. But before we get started, if you do enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get more sent straight to your notifications. The development of NASAMS was a project to replace the Improved Hawk surface-to-air system used by the Norwegian Armed Forces. It became a collaboration between Norwegian Kongsberg Company and Raytheon Company System based in the US. The system itself is courtesy of Kongsberg, and the responsibility for the missile is down to the US. NASAMS represented a massive leap from Norway's existing systems. Against its Hawk predecessor, it can hit more targets simultaneously, there is a reduced reaction time, and the time of setting up the equipment was significantly reduced. What's also reduced is the manpower needed to operate the equipment. NASAMS needs four times less than the Hawk. 1989 marked the start of development of NASAMS, and this was completed four years later following Polygon tests. In 1994, the surface-to-air missile system was introduced to the Norwegian Air Force. In order to avoid massive costs, the design of the weapon was influenced by existing systems so that it could be easily integrated without further unnecessary development. As of 1999, there were six NASAMS batteries in operation and experts have estimated that these cost as much as $250 million. NASAMS has three multi-missile launchers. Each of these launchers is capable of holding up to six missiles that are ready to fire. Despite the fact that all of the missiles are mounted on the same launch rail inside these canisters, they have been designed with different characteristics to deal with a range of threats. The launcher is built to carry a maximum of six AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles, and in turn, it's connected to the Fire Distribution Center, or FDC for short, which is a command post that can be communicated through radio or field wire. There's a 16 mile or 25 kilometer maximum range between the center and the launcher. The launcher is capable of firing the six missiles in only six seconds against six different targets at the same time, which is a huge reason why the system is so effective. It's also scalable and systems can be connected for a maximum of up to 12 launchers, totaling 72 missiles, all ready to fire simultaneously. In this configuration, all missiles can be deployed in 15 seconds if necessary. When ready to fire, a platform is lowered to the ground and its four jacks, powered by hydraulics, can be deployed if the launch pad needs to be stabilized. The rocket, named AIM-120A, has a cross-shaped wing of a small area with cross-shaped rudders in the tail end. This design gives excellent maneuverability, even at flight speeds too low for other rockets to cope with. It is controlled with a combined guidance system. The first is a command inertial on the original flight path in collaboration with active radar homing on the last flight path. Assuming the intended target doesn't move, then the missile will continue in an automated mode by using the inertial unit on the flight path that has been housed in the rocket's computer memory before launching. If the target moves, instead there is a protocol to deal with this. There are commands needed to correct course, which are given from the ground to the launch rocket system based on a change to coordinates. The onboard receiver will pick up these commands via the antenna, of which is found on the nozzle block of the rocket itself. Once captured by the radar homing head, up to a distance of 13 miles or 20 kilometers, it can then actively home in on its target. To enable this, the missile's brain is a fast microcomputer. This operates with a clock frequency of 30 megahertz, and its memory is 56,000 16-bit words. All of this helps the system to defend against unmanned aerial vehicles, helicopters, 
cruise missiles, unmanned combat aerial vehicles, and fixed-wing aircraft. Mobility is key to the functionality needed to get the launcher in a position where it can be effective. Each military that uses NASAMs has its variations for movement. For NASAM's primary use, the Norwegian Army, the launcher platform uses a Scania 113H 6x6 truck to be mobilized, but other nations use other methods. For example, the Sisu truck in Finland or Iveco transportation in Spain. Regardless of who is using this system, the platform was designed with maximum mobility in mind. All parts are transportable by helicopter, as well as brake bulk or roll-on roll-off vessels. The platform also features a hydraulic system which can load and offload the LCHR from whichever vessel transported it. Also, the system has the ability to be powered from a generator or a truck, and has the option to be operated semi-automatically or manually. Another key element to the system is its radar which needs to be effective in identifying targets. It's known as ANTPQ-64 and is designed to detect, identify, and track a maximum of 60 air targets at the same time. It is a pulsed Doppler three-axis radar with a phased array antenna and an integrated Mark 12 in situ requester. The radar gives a spatial overview by use of mechanical rotation of the antenna along the azimuth and electronic scanning along the angle of the place. A combination of a computer and the fire control station helps to operate the ANTPQ-64. It produces a needle-type directional diagram with low side lobes and can produce compressing pulses, selecting moving targets, as well as changing the power and type of the signal emitted. All of this can be deployed and prepped for operation in only 10 minutes. The Norwegian Air Force, working together with Kongsberg, developed an upgrade to the original NASAM system known as NASAMS-2 in the early 2000s. In 2006, the finished product was handed over to the Air Force for use in conflict. The key difference between the original and its upgrade was the use of standard tactical data links on top of a better ground radar. In 2019, another upgrade was ordered, which became NASAMS-3. May of that year saw the first firing tests of the weapon. This saw an updated fire distribution center an ADX console with ergonomic control surfaces. An update to the canister launcher allowed AIM 9X Sidewinder Block 2 short range missiles to be launched as well as AMRAAM ER. There were also other upgrades in terms of the range capability and the variety of rockets that could be launched. NASAMS represents one of the most popular surface to air missile systems with armies from around the world. Countries included as buyers of the weapon include Chile, Finland, Lithuania, Netherlands, Norway, Oman, Spain, Ukraine, United States, and Hungary. There are also future operators of the system to come, with Hungary and Qatar due for delivery of the surface-to-air missiles. It's also been an important part of Ukraine's defense against Russia as part of the US's $820 million military aid package to the country. None of this is a coincidence. The combination of the weapon's effectiveness, as well as its cost-effectiveness and integration with existing systems makes NASAMS a very attractive proposition. It's one of Norway's most successful military exports and a highly successful collaboration between the Norwegian and US militaries. What are your thoughts on NASAMS? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos straight to your notifications. Thanks for watching.